Hey, I'm Ryan Moore, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a free logo without using any complex tools like Photoshop, and it's really easy. So let me show you some of the logos I made. It took me like five to seven minutes to make these logos real fast. Um, this I just created a little collage collection for you, and each one took about five minutes. And you could do it too, and I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, these seven steps. I just jotted down right here, and I'm going to show you each uh, step, how I did what I did and I'm sure you could get more creative than I, me. I just made this really simple, really clean. Um, but let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to logomaker.com. So L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com. So just like this, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com. It has a little pop-up tutorial, but I'm going to show you something really cool. So let me uh, exit exit out of that tutorial and the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out how to add our text so really simple you just go to the T and it'll create this text okay great so now let's just add a, a logo so I'm going to put logo maker like that and I could put a space in between if you want it's really up to you and then you could um, just choose a font. Now what's cool about this is they organize the fonts into different categories. So you get handwritten, funny, funky, scary, you know, could do whatever you want here. And we can make it look like a car is driving kind of thing, you know. So that's really cool. So after you pick your fonts like I did, I just chose a font, we're gonna go ahead and find a color for your font. So now that you pick this, Let's go ahead and choose a nice color. Let's get that maybe a darker uh, a little blue, something like that. And since it looks like maybe a car or something like that, we want to go ahead and find a, um, a graphic. So let's add a graphic here. And there's two ways we could add graphics. You could either go to the shapes and you can make like some abstract graphics like I did. And that's really cool. And you could play around. I'm going to show you how to make these abstract graphics here in this video tutorial. I love doing this because you could get so creative and it's so clean when you add that. For example, I added these uh, circles in the background and stuff. Or you could add um, a icon, like some kind of graphic, like this bird here and this heart right there or this abstraction right here, this abstract little thing right there. So let's just add a car because that looks like it's kind of going somewhere. And I'm just gonna put car in the search. So all I did, let's go back to the canvas, is I went up to here, this little search bar area, and I put C-A-R and enter. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and search for a car. And you know, sometimes it takes a while just to find the car you want or whatnot. And, but once you find it, you, it will go right on it. And, and then you could keep playing with it. You're like, you know what, I don't like that one. Let's go and find another one. All I did is I clicked delete. So let's just get this kind of sports car right here. And I could put it whatever side I want to right there. I can make it bigger, smaller. Sometimes it comes and it's really big on the screen and maybe you want it this way. You want it like on the top. And let's, I'm going to show you how to uh, resize these things. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on it and you want to hit that corner right there and you want to resize it really simple. So let's resize this and I want it to be the exact lining up with the, that right there. You could also put it on the side and resize it there, but I want it right there. This is what I want for mine. Okay, so you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, that's great, but what if I want it like around the same color, you know? So, okay, so just click on, on the color that you like, that you already found, that you, you love, and then on the bottom of this color palette, you're going to see a number. So you want to click on this number, highlight it, and copy it. You could right click, copy, or on a Mac, Command C, just or um, and then just highlight it and copy it. Then you want to go to here, and you'll notice that it's zero zero zero. So you could play with this, or you could paste that in here. So I could just paste it or highlight it and paste that right there. So now it's the exact same, um, right? Aligned up with it, you know, really nice. Maybe I could just make it a little bit smaller, so I could line it up. And it looks pretty nice, you know, it looks like a, a nice 
car shop or something like that. Okay, so now I also wanted to show you how to um, save it, and that's really easy. Let's say you love this, and I'm gonna show you how to save it. After I show you how to save it, I'm also gonna show you how to make some abstract uh, things like this, background stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and save this first, okay? So you always wanna save your stuff, and go ahead and click Save Logo. And you see a pop-up with options. If you love it, you worked on it, and you're like, I want this logo, um, go ahead and get the $19, and that will allow you to put it on T-shirts. If not, you could just get it for free, um, but it's not gonna be as high quality. You can't really put it on banners and stuff like that. This is in vector quality, so it's really worth it to get this if you want it, or else you'll be paying a lot more with the graphic designer. Of course, at $19, it's a great deal. So, But for right now, I just wanna download it for free just to look at it and it's gonna download to my desktop right here. And this is another logo I saved, there it is. And it looks like that. And you may ask yourself, well, why is it gray in the background? Well, that's because of my previewer on my computer and yours may be black in the background but that's the previewer so what logo maker does is something really cool and special is they make the background transparent everything's transparent in the background which is great because if you put this on your website it won't be blocky meaning you won't see this uh, block in the background let's say your website is black and we could do this let me send this to back you won't see this big block if your website is maybe light 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 it will be that color so whatever color your background that you add this to it will be that color as well so that's why i'm adding this just to show you what it would look like whatever you put it on so logo maker did a, a fantastic job just making sure that um the background is transparent so you could put it on any website that has a different type of background which is really really nice um the the next thing i wanted to show you is how to uh, push things to the back and how to add shapes like this so let's say for example we wanted a circle around this thing all i have to do is just go to the shapes here so i'm going to add the shape and i wanted let's say i wanted a light kind of bluish uh, color in the back and it's really important to you know find the right color that you want. Um, colors are everything, and the colors line up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making this bigger by just grabbing the corners and, and making it bigger. And I basically went over to the shapes, and I just went and I grabbed it. Now it's kind of covering it, but what I'm going to do now is right-click and send this to the back right there. All right, there you go. And that's kind of muddled, so do I want it lighter, maybe like this, so it's a little lighter. I like it like that. So now it's really subtle, you know, it looks real professional like that. But what if I wanted another, uh, like, a, a, a line around it? What if I wanted, like, this black line right around it using this same color? Now this is cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that color by clicking on the color I want again highlighting it right there copying it by right clicking copy and I'm gonna add another shape to it so let's go ahead and add another shape just like this it just added another one and I'm gonna put that on the side for now and I'm gonna go to its color and I'm gonna paste that color in there just like that so it's the same color right there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it really big and I'm gonna put it over this just like that and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna send this to the back all right now you see what I'm trying to do here now I have a circle around this and I could kind of adjust it you know but what if I don't want that circle so thick well that's okay I'll make it a little smaller then I'll move it whoops I'll move it sometimes you can be careful what you're moving because there's different layers here um, there you go and I want it like that now that looks really professional like another logo company would do or whatnot and uh and that looks really slick so there you go there you have it now you could make abstract shapes by right clicking and putting things to the front to the back you could copy it you could delete it and you could always go back by pressing undo all right, so I hope this video helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. This is a free logo maker tool. It's the best, I love it. Uh, 
paste your logo down below. I want to see what you guys are coming up with. I want to see your logos. Um, this is really, really awesome. And um, I hope you liked it.